This video is going to be a special video because I'm listening to my subscribers request and I'm giving you what you want, baby. This video is going to be an FAQ on a Compagna T-Rex, a.k.a. Rex Monroe. What's going on guys, Rogue King Sino here bringing you another episode of the Dirty Left Shoe Chronicles. I'm actually taking man what my subscribers say into consideration and I'm bringing you the video y'all been waiting for. What is this? This happens to be a 2007 Compagna T-Rex 14R. Um, it's produced by a company named Compagna Motors who's considered an automotive industry company, but they actually specialize in reverse strikes, motorcycle re reverse strikes, because these are technically um, classified as a motorcycle as well as registered as a motorcycle. Uh, there was a company that was founded out of Quebec, Canada in 1988. I'm not going to go into further detail about, you know, the, the history of their company, but you can always Google them. C-A-M-P-A-G-N-A. How fast does it go? I always get this from everybody when I'm at a gas station. I could just be pulling out of a parking lot, uh, some type of event. How fast does it go? How fast does it go? This is powered by a ZX14R motor. Um, different models came out where they actually have different uh, uh, motors that they power the T-Rex with. So it's safe to say that it does have the electronic limiter on it. Me, I flash my ECU. So it'll actually keep going and blow up uh, before it tops out. Another thing to note is that even though this has the ZX14R motor in it, the Compagna T-Rex is geared very much different than the ZX14R. So it will not top out at the same mile per hour that a regular ZX14R motorcycle will. So just keep that in mind. Um, as far as how fast I've had it to, I only drive the speed limit. <laughs> How much do they cost? MSRP for a T-Rex 16S, which is the newer models, um, start around $58,000 and go up from there. That's pretty much basic. That's not gonna come with um, some of the things that you see on here, uh, speaker pods, um, the lip, fenders, wing, so forth and so forth. So you're looking at about 58K to start out. The used market is kind of rangy. And what I mean by that is that you can find them anywhere from the high 30s, I say, and up. Just depends on the year and also depends on the mods. Uh, every now and again, you might see a, a slight drop in price to where you could catch one for a good deal. And you might see a slight rise in price too at times. It just depends. So people know as uh, far as cars and bikes and extracurricular toys, recreational toys, if you will, um, the more rare it is, uh, they tend to be more expensive. Next question, can you take me for a ride? Hell no. <laughs> Females are more than welcome to ride with me. But for you grown ass damn men that's asking another grown ass man, can you get in the passenger seat with me? And this tight little, three little trike, hell no, man. We might as well be riding Nutty Buddy on a bike, man. Come on. All females, you are welcome to hop in with me. You know, if I do have space at that time, what I mean by that is a lot of times when I go out, I'm carrying things with me 
um, you know, little bags and other little things. But if I got space, females, you are more than welcome to ride with me. And the final frequently asked question I'm gonna answer today is, do you drive it on the highway? It's crazy because I get this question a lot, um, a lot more than people might think. Just because when they see it, they assume that it's some type of toy. Uh, kids actually assume the same thing. They, they think it's like a, a go-kart or something like that. It'd be safe to say, it'd be safe to say that um, you can compare it to a, some type of high performance go-kart or uh, Formula One style. And it's, it's almost like a toy to a lot of people. Kids love it. They like to try and hop in it when you're not looking and things like that. When I clearly got seatbelt um, shoulder pads on there that says, please do not touch. Needless to say, kids will be kids. You know what I mean? But the answer to that question is, yes, I do drive it on the highway. Yes, it is fully capable of riding and driving on the highway. Um, speed is not a problem. Agility is not a problem. Um, you know, it's actually a whole lot of fun when you're getting out there and you get loose on the highway a little bit. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.